FIS partnered with Bank Director to conduct the 2015 Risk Practice Survey with the goal to uncover best practices that create high-performance banking. The results uncovered in this survey focused on three important findings. I'd like to take a few moments to share my insights on these groundbreaking findings and share best practices takeaways. The first groundbreaking finding is that 82% of respondents believe they need to take their bank's enterprise risk management program to the next level for greater results. But how can one do this? Well, the survey identified several best practices to implement in order to get your bank to the next level while boosting financial performance. Appoint at least one risk expert to the board. Also, hire a chief risk officer regardless of your asset size. Banks with a risk expert on the board and a CRO report a higher median return on equity at 9.20% and higher median return on assets at 1.00% compared to banks without a risk expert on the board or a CRO. Implement a risk appetite statement and use it not just as a guide for board and management, but to set tolerances and limits. Review the risk metrics with the board and executive management monthly and communicate the risk appetite statement to all employees. Establish a risk management culture. Meet with your CRO at every board meeting. This sets the right tone at the top. Also, the chairman of the board or risk committee chair should meet regularly with frontline staff and operating management. After all, risk management starts at the first line of defense. Link compensation to risk management performance at your bank, because bottom line, without pay for performance, nothing else will matter. The second groundbreaking finding is that 73% of respondents say their boards need a better understanding of emerging risks in order to be able to guide executive management to the next level of performance. So how can bank boards and executive management stay on top of the risks facing their bank? The survey identified several best practices to implement. Enhance your risk dashboard for both the board and executive management. Make sure it tracks and measures risk appetite limits and tolerances and contains all necessary key risk indicators, KRIs, covering all areas of the bank. This way, you can stay one step ahead and attain strategic objectives while avoiding adverse impact to earnings, capital, or reputation. Increase the board director's training and education on risk oversight best practices and cover emerging risks like cybersecurity and unfair deceptive or abusive acts or practices UDAP, and how new regulations impact the institution. Our third and final key finding is that the vast majority of respondents saw cybersecurity as the risk category they were most concerned about. This comes as no surprise, given the unprecedented and heightened level of cyber threats and cyber risks faced today. However, the survey uncovered several surprises. Even though cybersecurity is of most concern, 82% of the respondents reported that it is not a topic reviewed at every board meeting. 52% said their cybersecurity budget for 2015 increased by less than 10%, while 21% reported no increase in the budget at all. Yet, more than half felt cybersecurity preventive and detective controls needed improvement. So how can banks resolve this contradiction? Here are a few best practices to implement that the survey uncovered. Boards must review cybersecurity at every board meeting. You cannot afford to be caught by surprise. Perform a cybersecurity risk assessment or gap analysis in line with FFIC expectations. This will help identify cyber vulnerabilities and reveal the improvements necessary in preventive and detective controls. It is not a question of if, but when you will have a cyber incident and breach. You must be able to detect it quickly and plug the hole before it becomes a cyber disaster. Make sure you have a written cyber incident response plan. It is a good idea to test the plan regularly and report the results to the board. Maintain adequate oversight of vendors that provide your bank's cybersecurity or related functions. Your weakest link and greatest threat may be a vendor. Closely review your cybersecurity budget and make sure it is commensurate with your risk profile. Previous breaches show it will cost 10 to 15 times your budget if you have a breach and you should focus on real-time and near real-time detective controls. Cyber risks, if not mitigated, will adversely impact earnings, capital, and reputation, and destroy value creation. Effective risk oversight and risk management is all about looking forward. The key to success is to focus on emerging risks, 
such as cyber, and to take preemptive action before it is too late. In summary, the FIS and Bank Director 2015 Risk Practices Survey uncovered three groundbreaking findings and several best practices that create high-performance banking. We hope you implement these best practices and take your bank to the next level of performance.